If you're looking for a sleek countertop reverse osmosis system, the Waterdrop K19 might have caught your eye. It's smart, compact, and comes with SGS testing for NSF 42, 53, and 58 for chlorine, fluoride, and chloroform. But here's the catch. You'll have to keep refilling it constantly and have frustrating leakage issues, despite the presence of two O-rings near the nozzle. So in this video, we'll break down the Waterdrop K19's real performance in three key areas contaminant removal, ease of use, and maintenance to help you decide if it's worth your money. You'll find links to all the exclusive discounts in the description below. First up is the contaminant removal. The Waterdrop K19 uses a four-stage reverse osmosis system with UV sterilization to remove chlorine, harmful chemicals, heavy metals, and TDS. This is tested by SGS for NSF standards 42, 53, and 58, but it doesn't back its claim to remove PFAS. Independent lab tests show it removes high-risk contaminants like arsenic, uranium, and lithium, bringing them down to nearly undetectable levels. It also passed real-world TDS tests, with post-filtration readings dropping well below 25 parts per million. The built-in UV light adds an extra layer of protection by neutralizing coliform bacteria. Just note, while it kills bacteria, this unit isn't rated for untreated well water, so use it with city or municipally treated supplies only. Now let's talk about water flow rate and design. Waterdrop claims a 75 GPD output and a 3 to 1 water drain ratio, which is efficient for a countertop RO system. The flow rate is strong. You can fill a glass in seconds without waiting around. The 170 ounce tank capacity is decent. Inside the tank, there's a divider wall that only goes halfway up. It's supposed to separate feed and dirty water. But once the dirty side fills up, it can spill over into the feed water side. Seeing this, you may presume that you have to constantly empty and refill to avoid dirty water mixing in. But in reality, the system is using the wastewater first. And once that's empty, it switches to the main part of the tank. It looks odd, but it isn't much of a concern. However, there are leakage issues around the nozzle. While the unit has two O-rings, they don't seal the water path completely, leading to drips during use. You can fix it by covering the top holes with PTFE tape, and Waterdrop's customer support has been helpful in resolving such problems. Now let's head over to ease of setup and maintenance. Waterdrop K19 is plug-and-play. No plumbing, drilling, or complicated tools required. Just follow the included user manual, discard the first few water outputs, and you'll be good to go. It also comes with smart features like a filter life indicator and a TDS display so you can track performance and know exactly when to replace the filter. The filter lasts up to 12 months or 1,100 gallons, depending on usage, and replacements cost around $75 per year, which is relatively cheap compared to most countertop RO systems. Maintenance-wise, the only real downside is it needs frequent refilling. On the plus side, Waterdrop backs the K19 with a one-year warranty, and customer support is responsive, especially for filter issues or leakage fixes. Overall, despite the frequent refilling and occasional leakage issues, the Waterdrop K19 still delivers strong value for money, thanks to its extensive contaminant removal and smart features like TDS monitoring and filter change alerts. If clean water and convenience matter more to you than a few design flaws, the K19 is a solid pick. But if you hate plastic and prefer something more eco-friendly, check out this video next.